There we go. Beautiful. All right. Everybody else in my group ready for me to start? I'm going to assume yep. yes. Yes. Awesome. So this is our database, small but efficient. Um, this is our user table, which holds all our users. User ID is an auto incremented ID number. Uh, name, user's first and last name. Email would be their email password. This is their hashed password. Uh, type. Type is how we know if they're a driver, passenger, or an admin, and this is held as a type char for space. Uh, email confirmation is also a type char, and this is just to confirm uh, if they uh, confirm their email or not. And uh, PFP is a profile picture that is held in a byte array. <clears throat> this is our history table, where it holds the history of all rides that uh, happened. History ID is an auto-incremented ID. Driver ID comes from from the user identity, which is the driver uh, driver's user ID. Passenger is the passenger's user ID. Pickup desti pickup destination is uh, the address from where they're getting picked up from. Drop off destination is the address they're getting dropped off at. Price would be the price of the trip. Date is the time and date. Uh, whenever the tr trip took place, activity status is whether the ride is active or inactive. Ride status is um, to determine if um, the ride has been canceled, requested, or scheduled, or done. And ride preferences uh, is um, no smoking, smoking, food, no food. Um, these three, these last three are held as uh, type chars just to save space. Uh, rating ID rating table is to hold all ratings for all the for all the rides. Rate ID rate ID is an auto incremented ID. Uh, user ID comes from the user, user identity table, which is the user responsible for the rating. History is the uh, the ride that they are making the rating for. Rating is a number that is one through five. Feedback is any feedback they might have had for the ride, whether it was too quiet or they were driving too fast, stuff like that. And rater ID also links back to the user identity table because we needed it uh, to make uh, our lives easier. And on the database, I have made triggers for these to uh, <clears throat> to help cleanse data a little bit and make sure um, make sure IDs are set and right. This is uh, where the ID is coming from, the next value. Uh, <clears throat> and this is for the rating table. This is for the history table. I round off the price here. I know it gets rounded off on the client side too, but just in case it squeezes through all of that, gets rounded here too and trigger. Um, get data for actual time. And then this is the other trigger. And I also have a transaction around the insert just to make sure that all data is inserted correctly. <clears throat> all righty, now it's time for the website. Uh, I have this part of the website locally hosted because our email confirmation decided to break when we put it on Azure because Azure wants more money. So. Um, yeah, basically what happened is Azure blocks port 52 i think it is and it won't allow us to send emails so yeah. unless we pay more money and upgrade our accounts and we yep. can't afford to do that so currently my email is not confirmed and if i try to do anything at all anything it will tell me to go confirm my email and if i hit this button it will resend the confirmation email for me which i can open up here and it is right there and if i click it it will confirm my email all right and then for this next part i can actually go onto the azure part of the website because now that will work so i just go ppc then log in oh Now it lets me through and it displays my profile, it displays my average uh, average rating, displaying stars, my email, what type of am, and my driver confirmation. <clears throat> and our privacy, I just wanted to go over our privacy page is taken directly off of BTC's privacy page and the footer also matches theirs. And these links also lead to the correct places. Now, for ride history, this shows me all the rides that I have been on and participated in. As a passenger, it shows me 
where I started, where I ended up, the price, the day, whether there was requested, completed, or missed, and any preferences I might have had at the moment. No smoking, um, no food. No... Yes, go ahead. Real quick, uh, a lot of these weird addresses are just from me testing if stuff submits properly. Uh, so for the most yeah, part, you can ignore them. <laughs> It's we kept just, a lot of our nope. we kept a lot of our data into the in the database uh, for this presentation just so that we had a lot of information to show. <clears throat> and yeah, if you notice, there, there's buttons whether I could cancel a ride that I requested, or I could just look at the details, or if it has been completed, I can go in and I could rate the ride from a star system. Leave any feedback that I want. Nice ride. Post. And yeah, this brings me back. This brings me to our rate, my ratings page, which will show me any ratings that I have done. And I can also search it up and do two different ways of any ratings that I have rated for other people or any ratings that I received from other people. And then yeah, the wording's any, a little confusing there. Yeah. Any rating that I have posted to other people's. So this is me rating myself. <clears throat> All right. User accounts, this is just an index page so that uh, they're able to look up all the um, all the users. Ignore all these emails. These are all fake emails from Makaru. These, these are our actual real accounts. <coughs> and then right here, there's also a search feature where you can search for however you need to. <coughs> and then for the request a ride. This is where the user is going to request their ride, where in here they will put up their pickup address. Here they will put up their drop down address and click show route. This updates the map, which also calls on it, <clears throat> calls on several different APIs to get you the distance, the duration of the trip, and price. The price is calculated by uh, taking the total distance and uh, dividing it by five, which I decided to do that way because um, <clears throat> I figured to be a good, uh, I figured that is a good number, about five, five miles to a, to a gallon. There's a good, there's a good number, which led me to $17 to come from my house to PTC, which I believe is fair with $1 added and, on okay, for PTC. Yeah. One, yeah. Yeah. I was getting, I was getting there. <clears throat> yeah. I just and then, wasn't sure if you forget it or not. Mm, and then ride preferences, which defaults to neither, but you could set it here for anything that you want. Click create. It takes you back to the index page and here we can see at the bottom or not at the bottom. Here we can see at the top that I've posted my ride, that my ride is requested and I can cancel it if I want to. Or I could look up the details of the ride, which decides that it doesn't want to work right now. Yep, that uh, that works. I don't know why locally. that wouldn't work. That did work locally. I don't know. Here, if, if need be, I could also click on the user. The user is also dis the it will display their profile picture, their name, their email, their their average rating, who they are, and uh, yeah, anything about their average account. And if the user does not have a profile picture, there is a nice little placeholder just in case. All right, um, and then the logout feature also works. And it takes them back to their home page and everything else disappears from the nav bar. Um, I would like to also mention that you can't go anywhere but home and privacy if you're not logged in. If you even if you know the uh, URL, it'll just show up with a you need to log in. If you want to just go to user identity slash uh, details. Yeah. <clears throat> I get that right? Try index instead. It's plural. Oh. User identities. Oh, user identities. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. There you okay. go. It'll tell me it'll tell me to log in and this happens on every page. Except for home and privacy. And right. for the cases that uh user might want to do something and that thing just fails uh it will show an a, 
um, it'll show an appropriate error message on that failed page mm. um, because I made sure that it was that uh, it wasn't using the default ASP dot not found pages because they ended up breaking things for some reason. <clears throat> but all right, I think it's Katie's turn. Yes, I believe. I believe yep, there's all in our head. Share my screen to show uh, the website as a driver. I will stop sharing it if I can. If you just click stop sharing down there, Ed, it <clears> works. <throat> All right, everyone see it? Yep. Okay, I did want to point out that um, when you're viewing your own profile, you have the change password option. Uh, well, I do need to log in because I just did that. Um, Unless that okay no it didn't bug so yeah this is functioning you know just like any other change your password but say I go to Ed's account I do I cannot change his password because I am not him uh, so nice little feature there um, also notice as since I'm type driver I do not have the ability to request a ride because obviously I'm not a passenger so I don't need to. Um, ride history for me is a little different. Um, as a driver, you get these filters as active and past. So past is like rides that are completed or that I have currently accepted and aren't completed and active. Go to here. Um, all the active rides. I can see the details. Well, I think that's because it's myself, but. Um, it um, ordinarily, you'd be able to see details. Uh, this was working literally half an hour ago. <laughs> I don't know what's happened since then. Yeah, well, more we'll roll with it. Uh, but let's, that's Lee's here, so I can accept that. Here it takes me to the past. So here's Lee's right here. Um, I can say, you know, missed it, complete it. Do the details should, yep. Also, I did want to mention anything that's like default blue. Um, it does link to their profile. So there's Lee. Um, same thing on the uh, other index pages, like all these link to their profiles. And then, uh, yeah, so I can complete that one. And then once ride is completed, you have the ability to also rate them. Just the same as a passenger, make a rating, you know, blah, 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 create, and, uh, yeah, same thing as passenger takes you to the ratings. This is Ed's rating of me. These are the ratings I have posted about other people. Same thing, uh, details. You can view the history of it. All kind of connects back. Uh, same thing with edit. Or wait, that's not the right one. There we go. Oh, that shouldn't show up on that one then. Yeah, the but the edit button shouldn't show up on ones that um, weren't made by you. So a little bug, but it uh, at least it doesn't let you edit. It just says failed because your ID doesn't match the one of the one who created the rating. But yeah, so edit. Well, should work. Do I have to change something about it? No. Again, another thing that was working literally 30 <laughs> minutes before we started. We went through all of this. Um, let's see. Okay. But, I've been yeah, bug think... testing for days. <laughs> is there anything else, uh, Lee or Ed, that is different as a driver that uh, Ed did not show? Um, okay. It's nothing that was different. It's just something I wanted to mention. For yeah. ride histories, for any active rides, it actually sorts by oldest. So the oldest yes. will appear at the top and the newest will appear at the bottom to give more of an incentive for people to accept the ones at the top because so they've been waiting know, longer. Most people, <laughs> most people won't want to scroll anyways. So, you right. know, um, other than that, I don't think you missed anything. Yeah, I think that was everything he covered the other pages. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pass this off to Alyssa, who is going to show the uh, like quote mobile view of the website and then also show you what it's like registering as a driver. So Alyssa. Alrighty. Everyone can hear me and see my screen? Yep. Yep. Alrighty. So 
here is the mobile. You can see that it, the nav bar looks really nice in mobile. And click register. And if you try to submit, it will throw errors saying that everything's incorrect. Um, also, for email, you cannot put in an email that's not uh, related to the school. Basically, it's just uh, regex that tells it that if they don't put in at students.ptcollege.edu after the email, then they can't submit it. Submit it. Should send the email. Oh. S SMTP server. Okay, this literally just worked for Ed. Yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. I am so confused. <laughs> just move on, guys. You're good. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll just. You can change me to type driver. If you need to. Okay, yeah, we'll change Ed to type driver for now because okay. this also has something to do with my demonstration, the fact that this one failed. <laughs> um, Actually, so she, got, gonna... she, got in, she got in the database. I oh, like, did she? Yeah, I can well, confirm her email. Yeah, uh, don't confirm her email. It's, okay. Like I said, it has something to do with me confirming her email. So I will just confirm your, I uh, will just uh, do you want me to change it so that screen? you're a driver, Ed. Uh, yeah. Wait, we already went over driver, didn't we? Yeah, we just that was me. Yeah. You just we need just to yeah, we already admin. Went driver. Yeah, we just yeah, want to the driver. Um, so, the problem here is that uh, whenever she would receive an email ordinarily, it would be the same email that Ed got, and then she'd click on the link and it'd take her something. It'd take her to a page that uh, that essentially just tells her to go to an admin with the appropriate uh, stuff, um, uh, license, uh, photo of themselves that they'd like to use for it, and also uh, valid registration, uh, car insurance, and their license plate, uh, just to be confirmed and be put in. And then I need to share my screen. Give me a second. Um, and all right. So then I log in as myself. And then if I go to user accounts and then scroll down past all these, uh, there's a confirm driver button. Uh, oh, it turns out that. Oh, okay, never mind. This is a fake email that somebody made. Um, and then I just click confirm driver and it and there's an extra comment here. Uh, <laughs> and then it just asks, it basically just asks the person. Um, in the future, this could uh, be sorry, made record. so that- Instead of the extra comma, it normally, I don't know if it's because her registration failed, it should load the driver, the person's oh, name. Yeah. So that's probably why it's blank because of her spelling. Another out. thing that was working 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I um, think it's because her a... registration bugged out, but yeah. It's all right here. Um, it's probably just another thing with Azure, you know. Hey, you're demoing this. So mm -hmm. uh, the request to write is there, just that was for testing purposes. It will be removed. Um, it's really easy to remove that from the top bar up there. Um, but anyways, confirming the driver, it's just uh, confirming. Uh, it just asks the admin if they showed all that stuff. And ordinarily, you'd put this into a database or something, um, it, whether it be separate or the same database connected to their user ID. The database is built to be expanded on. So you could add virtually anything to that database, or you could add that database into uh an existing one with a few with a little bit of changes and stuff you could easily put it in so and then that works and now hers is uh confirmed uh for ratings 
admins can change any rating, I believe. That's how we did it. Yeah. Uh, this is for any ratings that are vulgar or something like that. You need to go in and kind of censor it. Um, this could be, the censoring could also be done in code quite easily. Uh, for ride histories as well, uh, it's a bit, it's a little bit cramped in this table. Uh, this is just with all that stuff. And basically you just see all the ride histories and any of the drivers. Uh, there really isn't much to do on this page. You can go to any of the details and look at them. Um, but I believe that's everything. Um, believe, don't forget yeah, the that just uh, work admin items. can change profile picture. Oh yeah, that only is a admins are very good that. point. Yeah. Uh, so where is Ed's account? I'm gonna change Ed's profile picture. Uh, he sent me a pic, a nice picture of a cat earlier, and I like it. So that is his, that is going to be his. Uh, Profile picture from now on, and now I save and <laughs> I save. It's cat Yeah, imagine. the reason we made admins only able to do this is because we want uh, people to be uploaded as an actual picture of themselves to verify, you know, the right person's picking you up and such. Um, so we left that only in the control of the admins. Yeah, that's yeah. why you have to bring an actual photograph of your face with your face to an admin. <clears throat> yep, and is that all for the website? I believe so. I think we got it all. Yeah, okay, so. well, since I'm still sharing my screen anyways, I'm just going to, uh, for the app, we actually use a uh, API for it. And it's, uh, I consider it well-developed, but I am the developer, so I'm a little bit mm. biased. Mm, um, it's pretty solid. But Ed also helped with it. He did the same stuff he did on the website. Uh, this is the longest of them. Um, this is everything that's done for the for histories, uh, Git histories. Uh, there's also um, post requests and stuff like that. Uh, everything is named easily enough. Cancel request. And I made it return JSONs for any request. And for users, there's a login. Uh, you got to log in, and then for the Git user, uh, to do anything, you have to have the user email and the user's password hash, because I decided that it's better not to send a uh, plain text password over, uh, over Wi-Fi or whatever you're using, like a thousand times per session. So I figured password hashes were probably better to pass around as um, so that random people just can't use the API. Uh, and that leads me to the app. And I got to, I'm actually, I'm going to switch to sharing just my screen. Um, oh, I got to stop. <laughs> Another thing with Blackboard. OK. And. Uh, I'm not sure how desynced this is going to be because this app really likes desyncing. It seems um, there is a uh, what should I call it? It's a splash screen, but you guys can't see it because it's desynced really badly for no reason at all. <laughs> three frames a second. Yeah, solid three. Uh, so we're just waiting on this, really, to catch up. The app is not this slow. It's just the um, actual. And sign up just, wow, that works fast. Sign up just uh, takes you to the register page uh, because we figured this was the best way to do it. Uh, it's easier on the people who are making the app, and it's uh, just, I feel it's more secure. Uh, that's just personal opinion. But that is just the same as usual. And then you go back here, and I actually have, we actually have biometric sign in as, as soon as it loads. Um, OK. And you get authentication succeeded and everything. Uh, 
I'm using a, uh, we're using a free API in this. So you kind of get what you get when it comes to speed. <laughs> Sometimes this app will be super snappy and other times it'll be the slowest thing in the world. So yeah, it's a toss up. Uh, last I checked, the API is still up though. So it shouldn't be too long. It's still probably just taking a minute to load. Nope, the API went down, so now we gotta wait, wait for it to launch. Or maybe not. Nope. Okay. Uh, this is just Katie's. Yeah, cold starts are amazing. Um, <laughs> this is Katie's view. This is her view as a driver. Um, there is no request. You cannot request, but if you go here uh, and give it a minute, APIs. Uh, this wasn't sorted. I thought I had sorted it, but apparently not. Uh, basically, it's just newest to oldest rather than oldest to newest. That's the only uh, difference. It's all still works. Um, last thread given takes you to this. And oh, yeah, she had. Uh, yeah, she requested. Yeah. Or got so, requested. The status didn't change. Anyways. Uh, so you can mark this as missed. Um, you have your passenger, all the information you need gets displayed to screen. And then you can go back from there. And it does not, it just takes you back to the home screen rather than. And then we wait for this to load again. And if we marked it as missed, it updates it automatically. And then we go back and then scroll all the way down to the newest one and or is that the newest one apparently something went wrong the app tells me i like how the app tells me now after we've tested this stuff really good ordinarily uh the one that you chose would pick up there it would it would show up there um was that just specifically for that one nope okay Ordinarily, uh, the one you picked would show up there. I don't know what the problem was. I tested that very well um, myself. So it was working literally two days ago. Um, and then if I just log out and go to Ed's account, uh, EI2, right, Ed? Yeah. Okay. And then log in. And there's ad stuff. Uh, and then you can request a ride here. Uh, we had to have a separate check price button for people to be able to check their price. But if they just enter the pickup location and the destination, it does still uh, make the price available. It still does put in the price. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, pickup location. Um, I would say I'd use my address, but my address is very annoying to use because yeah, there's use other it. addresses like it. Greenfield. Have. Have and then 1111. Key road. And then check price and... Okay, it depends if it hits the button. It shows it in a little toast notification, which I figured was the best way to do it. it it's just more pleasing to me for a post to have a post a toast notification. There we go. And then you just select one of these, and they do deselect automatically. And submit ride requested. There we go. And then go to here. And it shows your most recent ride request. And then you can cancel it from here as well. So that's all for the app. Um, I couldn't think of a way to get admins into the app. Uh, so currently, admins can't use the app. But it shouldn't be the hardest. Um, but that is the that is it for the app. Uh, and yeah, I'm ready for any questions. Well. I think all any of us questions? are.
can I start, I guess, since I started last time? <laughs> great, 